Welcome to the class students. Today we are recalling another topic in the analysis of univariate data that is Bowley's coefficient of skewness. Let's solve some problems based on class intervals uh, and the inclusive type of class intervals problems in this class. Let's take down the problem first that is class interval 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100 and the frequencies. It is 1, 3, 11, 21, 43, 32, 9. This is the problem they have given and this is uh, problems on continuous type of data. For this we have to calculate Bowley's coefficient. First let me write the formula for Bowley's coefficient. Bowley's coefficient of skewness. This is Q3 plus Q1 minus 2 Q2 divided by Q3 minus Q1. So, this Bowley's coefficient is purely based on the quartiles. So, we have to calculate all the three quartiles that is Q1, Q2 and Q3. Let us find out the values for Q1, Q2, Q3 first. Later, we will solve the Bowley's coefficient formula. For this, the first step is we have to calculate LCF. This is very, very important. Your N is equal to 120. And LCF is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 11 is equal to 15, 36, 79, 111, last is 120. First is we have to find Q1, Q1 is N by 4, this is N by 4 is 120 by 4, it is 120 by 4, it is 30th observation. 30th observation will comes in the LCF that is 36. So, I have to block this one. So, find Q1 it is L plus N by 4 minus CF by F into C. And your Q1 is equal to 60 plus N by 4 is 30. CF will be the previous one that is 50 divided by F. F is same frequency 21 and C is width of the class interval that is 10 and your Q1 value is 67.1428. 67.1428. Next find out Q2. Q2 is 2 into n by 4. It is 2 into n by 4 already we have calculated this 30. It will be 60th observation. 60th observation. 60 will come in 79. So, I am blocking this one. So, Q2 is equal to L plus 2N by 4 minus CF by F into C. So, here it is L is equal to 70 and 2N by 4 it is 60. CF will be the previous one that is 36 and F is corresponding frequency that is 43 into 10. So, Q2 value is after simplification Q2 is equal to 70 plus 5.5813. This is Q2 is 75.5813. Similarly, we are finding Q3. Q3 is 3 times n by 4. This is 3 into 30. It will be the 90th observation. 90th observation it comes in LCF that is 111. So, I am blocking this one. So, Q3 is equal to L plus 3N by 4 minus CF by F into C. This is 80 plus 3N by 4 is 90. Minus CF will be the previous one that is 79. And F will be the corresponding frequency that is 32. Width of the class interval is 10. And Q3 value is 80 plus 3.4375. Q3 is equal to 83.4375. So, we have completed. We have found out Q1, Q2 and Q3. 
Next, we'll move on to the formula, Kp's coefficient formula. And substituting the values of this, Q3 is 83.4375, Q1 is 67.1428, minus 2 times Q2 value is 75.5813, divided by 83.4375 minus 67.1428. After simplification, Bowley's coefficient of skewness is equal to 0. Sorry, this is this I am writing. It is minus 0 0.5823 divided by 16.2947, and this is 0. This is minus 0 0.0357. So, this Bowley's coefficient is negative 0 0.0375. So, for this also we have to write the comment that is it is a negatively, this is negatively skewed distribution. This is negatively skewed distribution. So, for this type of problem also, commit will also carry marks. Commit will also carry one marks and this is very very important to write the commit. Okay. Let us take another problem. Compute coefficient of skewness based on quartiles. Compute coefficient of skewness based on quartiles. Based on quartiles. Based on quartiles is nothing but Bowley's coefficient. So, this is our class interval 10 to 19. 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89 and the frequencies it is 5, 9, 14, 20, 25, 15, 8 and 4. Your total n is equal to 100. Since this is inclusive type of class interval, we have to make this exclusive type, we have to make this continuous, then we can go for the further procedure. So, I am writing the new class interval first for this. 19 19.5 to 19.5, 19.5, 19.5 to 29.5, 29.5, 39.5. 39.5 to 49.5, 49.5 to 59.5, 59.5 to 69.5, 79.5 to 89.5. First, I will write down the uh, Bowley's coefficient formula. Bowley's coefficient of skewness it is q3 plus q1 minus 2 q2 divided by q3 minus q1 so to find out this first thing is i have to calculate lcf okay so first will come same i have to add it is 14 28 48 73 88 96 100 so next step is i am calculating q1 it is n by 4 n by 4 is 100 by 4 it is 25th observation 25th observation 25th observation comes in the lcf 28 so i am blocking this class interval for our calculation so q1 is equal to l plus n by 4 minus cf by f into c so, Q1 is equal to 29.5. We have to consider the L value that is lower limit value in the new class interval. Do not consider the uh, given class intervals. Okay? We have calculated the given uh, 
new class interval in that we have to consider the lower limit plus n by 4 is 25 cf means this previous one that is 14 f is the corresponding frequency 14 c is equal to the width that is 10 so q1 is equal to 37.3571 q1 value is 37.3571 next find out q2 q2 is 2n by 4 this is 2 into 25 this is 50th observation 50th observation comes in the LCF that is 73 so I should block this one okay so q2 is equal to L plus 2n by 4 minus cf by f into c here this is uh, 49.5 plus 50 this previous one will the LCF that is 48 and 25 into 10 and your q2 value is 49.5 plus 0 0.8 and q2 is equal to 50.3 so q2 value is 50.3 next we have to calculate q3 q3 is 3 times n by 4 it is 3 into 25 that is 75th observation 75th observation comes in the LCF 88 so I should block this one so again to find q3 it is l plus 3n by 4 minus cf by f into c this is 59.5 plus 75 cf means previous one that is 73 f means corresponding frequency that is 15 into 10 and this is 59.5 plus 1.3333 so Q3 is equal to 60.83333. Okay. After finding all these three quartiles, now the next step is we have to substitute these in the Bowley's coefficient. This is, I am substituting the values 60.8333 my sorry plus Q1 is 37.8. 3571 minus 2 into 50.3 divided by 60.8333 plus sorry minus 37.3571 and this is uh, 98.1904 minus 100.6 divided by 23.4762 and this is minus 2.4096 divided by 23.4762 and the Bowley's coefficient is Bowley's coefficient is minus 0 0.10264 this is Bowley's coefficient again this is also a negative therefore it is negatively negatively skewed distribution this is also again negatively skewed S K E W S K E W D negatively skewed distribution. In examination based on quartiles, uh, you will not get you may get this type of problem. Uh, we have for that we have to change the class interval first. We have to make it uh, inclusive uh, into exclusive. Then we have to go for the further procedure so that it will be easy to calculate. And each and every time you have to write the formula so that formula will also carry marks. And Bowley's coefficient formula will also carry marks. You have to carefully see that for Bowley's coefficient in the numerator it is Q3 plus Q1 and in the denominator it is Q3 minus Q1. Don't get confused. We have to, you, you just go through the coefficient, sorry, quartile deviation and Bowley's coefficient. There is little bit changes. That coefficient and this coefficient will be changing, changes will be there, numerator and denominator. While writing Bowley's coefficient, you should be very careful. Okay, so this is the procedure to find the Bowley's coefficient based on the uh, continuous type of data. Please go through this one. Okay, thank you.